So we are given a long round wire where the current I is flowing and on the surface of this wire one electron escapes with a velocity V0. So we are to find the maximum distance of the electron from the axis of the wire before it turns back. So let's say it turns back here. So we need to find this distance X0. Why it will turn back? Because the magnetic field in this particular case is outside. So the force on the electron will always be inside. So it's going to turn. Now two things. One is the magnetic field cannot gain, cannot make the velocity go up or down. So velocity will remain constant. So at any location x and y its total magnitude of the velocity remains V0. Second is magnetic field for a current carrying wire at a distance x is mu naught i by 2 pi x and because the current is flowing down in this case it will be k cap. Now let's do this problem. So force on this electron will be q into v cross b. So q is minus e, v is vx i cap plus vyj cap, general velocity at any point x comma y and b is bk cap. So i cross k is minus j, j cross k is i and value of b we can put as mu naught i by 2 pi x. So from this term let's take the direction uh, the fx term and so this will be m into ax so m we will take down so ax is equal to this force divided by m so this becomes minus mu naught i e by 2 pi m times vy by x now we have all the terms of x ax is here x is here but here we have vy so we need a term of x here also so we are going to use this and vy we can write as root of v naught square minus vx square now we have term of vx and x so acceleration we will write in similar form vx dvx by dx so that we can integrate to find the relation between vx and x so the limits of vx because it starts from here so it's going towards right with v naught so it initially it's v naught and when it's turning then vx becomes zero the x at this point is the radius which is a and when it turns x will be x naught which we need to find so substituting this in for this integral v naught square minus v vx square is as t or let's say q so we don't get confused with time so substituting this it will become an easy integ integral and solving it you will get v0 is, uh, is equal to mu0 i e by 2 pi m ln x0 by a. So from here you can find x0 which will be our answer.